what's up guys it's daniel here i'm so happy to be with you guys once again i've really missed you i've missed youtube as a whole i've missed making videos anyways sorry for disappearing on you guys it was due to work and some other stuff you know but we just are sure that we are back now and we are ready to kick off i am very very pumped to make videos so let's get this started okay so this is a flyer i made recently using photoshop it's not that much of a big deal i think i made this around 30 minutes thereabouts so i just thought why not let me share with you guys how i came about this whole design and you know somebody might learn one or two things okay so this is what we are going to do i am not going to be doing this all over again as that would take a lot of time but i'll be showing you step by step how i made this whole design and the tools i used and what they are all used for so without further philandering let's get started okay welcome to adobe photoshop cs6 i'm sure nobody gives a fuck about the number <laughs> so for starter i like to put the background first as that will give me the insight of what i want to do so for this it's nothing special like i said i use the black background so in order to create your black background or any background you want to use all you have to do is click on this button here which is the new layer button and let me hide this and you want to select your paint bucket to so then you can select the color you want if i want to use red it's as simple as just clicking and bam there we have it so it's as simple as that i hope you get that all right so let's just move on now this image i downloaded this image at shutterimage.com i'll put the link in the description so you can download any image you want the image itself is ready made so i did not really put much work to it it's not as if you cannot do this yourself just put this big book all this star 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 and all this flare and you're good to go but you know that will take a lot of time but you know oimbo's idea to make all these templates for us all we have to do is just chill and relax and download their image and use all right credit goes to shutter image there so the only adjustment i made for this image is i reduced the opacity to 70 let's put it back to 100 as you can see it, it is just too the the light is just too bright and that's the reason why i used a black background so if i change this back to 70 as it was okay this is 70 now and i remove the black background so this is how it looks and you know this does not make sense i want to reduce the light but if i reduce the opacity of this layer which is the image this is going to just come out like this and if i submit this the owner is just going to bless me with different type of courses i don't want that nobody wants that and that is to tell you that this black background is not useless it is actually doing something i think i used an effect on the black background but i later removed it i don't know why let's see okay yeah this as you can see the color has changed a little bit i i used the color overlay there so but let's remove it i did not submit it like that this is how i submitted it all right so let's just move on let's move on nothing special here okay this is a png image of redeemed christian church of god logo i downloaded this online it's as simple as just typing rccg logo dot png Google has a lot of them so you can download or if you want to download any logo they are there online no need to stress yourself the next one here is a text layout the redeemed christian church of god the font i use is Arial bold yep so in order to create your text all you want to do is you want to press t on your keyboard which is the shortcut for text or you want to come here and this is as you can see this is text and if you want to type it's as simple as just clicking anywhere and just typing as simple as that if you want to change the font you can do it here and like i said i used Arial bold so let's cancel that let's move on okay the next one here is also an Arial font but this is regular why this one is bold as you can see this is regular you can change the style here 
We have Naru, Italics, Italics, Italics. Okay, we have bold, we have bold Italics, we have black, and so on. So I change this one to regular. Just you know what you want to keep in mind is just the arrangement. If you are good with the arrangement of your text and image and icon and so on, you you are one step to becoming the greatest designer on head. Okay, so let's go. On. <laughs> All right, the next one here is also a text layout. This is for the present. It is also an aerial, but this is a regular. I only change the color to this color here. I think this is yeah, yellow, the last, the highest yellow, mm, the finest yellow. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. If you notice, I only use two colors. I use the white and this yellow here. And I use the yellow due to the background. You know, you don't want to mess around playing with different color to just make your work look childish. So you want to stick with two, three colors. And yeah, and you're good to go. All right, let's move on. So the next one here, this is actually a logo too. But I did not see the particular one I was looking for online. I searched different page. I did not see. So instead, I made this by myself. I could go on and do this again, but that would take time. So let me just show you how I made this. I use the pen tool. So using the pen tool, I open a new panel and I drew this out. Then I saved it as a PNG and imported it back on the image. As simple as that. It is very simple. Just this pen tool. So that is that. You're good to go with that. And if you want to see a video about how I made this book icon, just let me know in the comments box and i'll be happy to share it with you guys so here is another text layer but here you notice that i used two fonts on one text layer so how did i come about this it is as simple as let's select our text tool and you want to click on it so for the particular area you want to use a font it's as simple as just highlighting that area and you want to select the font you want simple as that as you can see but i would close this out so for this awake i use the botch that's the name of the font and for this righteousness i use aerial regular i think for this old design i used about five to six fonts i used aerial botch i used Helvetica rounded and i use one called i can't remember but we'll get to it now all right so the next thing here is another text front like see the same color yellow okay let's move on what is this okay yeah this is a flare that i downloaded online in fact i don't know why i put this thing <laughs> but it's sad yeah. the original color of this flare that i downloaded is i think blue okay yeah this is the original color but i changed the color using the color overlay and to get this all you have to do is click on this effects panel here so you want to click on color overlay if you want the image you download online to have another color this is how to give out it just use the color overlay option okay so you can go here and it's as simple as just clicking anywhere as you can see it's changing it's changing it's changing so as simple as that let's close this out all right so that's just how i got this flare of a thing okay so the next one here this is another text yeah the foundation this is the font i'm talking about let me check the name okay this is called another dangerous demo okay Continue. so nothing too fancy here it's as simple as just typing as you can see so i was not the one who made the font so let's move on here we have another text layer this is al bold it leaves i think because this thing is not straight okay yeah exactly aerial boot italics yeah i don't know the pronunciation of this your italics italics stuff so pardon me for that the next one here is yes a rounded rectangle shape so this is the chamber where i lock the president how did i come about this it's as simple as just going to your shape tool here which is this one you can right click to see more shapes this is the rectangle and then the clips and if you want to use custom shape if you have if you want to use custom shapes there are lots of shapes here these are pretty much the default one 
i did not really change it because i don't use it much okay so let's go back to our rounded it's it's very easy and simple to do it's as simple as just dragging you know holding your left click and dragging it out it's as simple as that and as you can see we are having a rounded rectangle but to get rid of this fill which is black you can go here and you can just simple as that or even if it's still there and you want to go another way you can go here which is fill again and you can change the level to zero percent and you are still welcome with the same thing it's just like saying we are going to the same place but the route we are taking is different so let's delete that so the next one is another chamber so i just copied this we're only having one president so i copied this another one another one yeah so that is all about that and now here is the name of the okay this is helvetica rounded font yeah i can cite it from a distance because i just love the font so much i i, I so much love it it's my favorite actually okay this is just a test font nothing special all right pastor mrs okon more blessings sir more blessing my star of fire okay president so for the president text i changed it to yellow again so that will make it look more fancy i don't know so moving on this is another rounded rectangle okay still the same idea the only thing there is that this one does not have any stroke and the color is filled i changed it to the color i was using for the text and order as you can see this one is just slim this is a slim rectangle so something like this yeah that's that's that about that then so now we have another text layout this is a real bold and now we have another rounded rectangle and i think i copied this to okay another rounded rectangle and here it is it's just a fancy nothing all right let's let's move on special and now we have okay and now we have the image layout what was sent to me was a full picture with background so i just reduced it and removed the background and to do that it is actually very simple let me show you let's open i think i like this man first of all you want to change this lock background to a normal layer and to do that just double click and it will ask you new layer layer zero press ok and that has changed it to a new layer instead of a log background if you are using a log background by the end of the day you guys are going to fight the two of you because you'll be seeing some stupid errors so get that at first you want to change it to a new layer then you can use the rectangular marquee to, to crop it so let's just crop this to something like this all right so just go to invert since i'm selecting the place i need and this is the place i don't need so go to invert just press delete you are good to go and now the next thing you want to do don't forget there are multiple ways to go about this but this is the way me i prefer to do mine so you just select the quick selection to you can use the quick selection to if the background color does not relate to the foreground color what do i mean by this look at this color here and look at this color here they are not related that much so the witches and wizard in photoshop can still help you to select this one and leave this one simple just click on it and as you can see we are already halfway done yeah simple as abc and if photoshop is selecting something you don't want to be selected let's say it is selecting this clothes let's do it like this okay if i press delete the clothes is also going to be deleted let's bring that back so what you want to do is you want to hold alt which is the alternate on your windows and you want to just drag it out yeah as simple as that press your delete and you're good to go so what you want to do is you want to drag out this young man here let's take it to where we want to use him and you want to press ctrl t which is a transform button and i want to just drag it a little bit you want to reduce the size and make it fit the chamber so there you have it now this young man is now our pastor malomo with the swag but god forbid bro outside 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 oh yeah mm -hmm. one thing i came to my mind now is how i made this mini string vertical and not horizontal 
well it is it is very simple you can do this two step you can click on this text button and you can select the vertical type tool and you can type vertically i'm using a black color so you might not see it let me select it and change it to white okay so as you can see this is very very simple to do and i just drag it here and let's close that out so let's move on yes this is the original pastor malomo okay all right let's move on so this is just another text layer i think we're almost done this is area regular again then this is helvetica rounded but then i use the yellow color for the post of the person okay let's see okay and this is our facebook icon the social media icon this was originally black but i changed it to the color value to white i hope you still remember how to get the color value section so now we have the date nothing special again just a bold and yes the last one here is the handle so that is how i came about this so as you can see that is pretty much everything it's as simple as abc but one last thing before i go i want to see that effect that i did not use okay yes this is looking um although i submitted this but i think i'm uh, i like this so let me just leave it like this okay, the last thing you want to do is you want to go to your file here and you want to go to save as you can also use ctrl shift s so you want to just go on and select the jpeg format which is your jpg which is compatible with your mobile phone and you want to go on and save you can also save as psd but that is the normal format for photoshop if you save as psd it is not going to show shengdai on your phone so don't make that mistake you can only save your psd on your system but not for your phone so that will bring us to the end of this video i hope you've learned one or two stuff and um i hope you've accepted my apology i'm sorry for bailing out on you guys seriously but i'm back now so if you have not subscribed yet i promise you you'll be missing out a lot because i'm going to be pumping you guys with lots of tutorials and videos that even you will get fed up with me so thank you for watching once again i love you guys till next time i come your way peace out